<clears throat> and so basically, which a bit of vegan chocolate in my mouth, I'll just just don't don't scratch that my dome, Natasha. Okay. Just put that down gently. This is a house tour. Get into it. Today's video, we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. Easy. It's gone too far. It's time to wipe the fight. Blow off that platinum plate. When you say you're right. Alright, uh, so we're back. We, this is a new pad we got. We did get it for a steal. It's a Frank Geary house. So if you do know what that means, um, you know, it means good things. Let me spot, spot down a bit. One thing I do notice, living in LA, this is a bit short, isn't it? Living in LA, the bicycle is a bit faster to get around. So I'll keep this car as a bit of a showman thing, a bit of a dog and shiny po. po dog, and, dog and pony, pony show. But. <laughs> I still don't know how to fucking use the thing, but uh, so this is a bit of a pad here. Um, I, I would like to give you a house tour because last time I put my house in there, it was a mess. People were like, go, oh, you messy, you know. I don't know. Anyway, leave the comments down below. I'm gonna get to work. Just, just gentle, okay. All right, so we've got a house tour here. Uh, we're going to show you. Let's start. Let's start near the front door. This is this my um, this is my sm small house. It's where Natasha lives. She sort of looks after, manages everything around here. We've got the cats as well. One cat, two cat. Where's the third cat? Sitting out there. Uh, what's that? Actually, in the kitchen. Right? I, think they, I think they left. But um, start with the start with the front door here. We've got these uh, just I just got shit everywhere. We've got GoPro stuff. We've got. Shit from Samsung, cat ears, we got lights, basically, these are actually pretty handy um, for doing a bit of product placement, sponsored, not sponsored, we've got night zone as well, these are really good, the, the red zones, such good product out there now, uh, got a lot of lights, so be safe, be seen, can't have too many bike lights, we got, uh, these are Soulstar, I've got a review coming soon, they're actually in these shoes here, these are the old Bond too. <laughs> I mean, who has... Such nice bikes, but ride such shitty shoes. Your mate Duran Rider does. Still going strong though. The fake bonts. I think they're fake, but can't really tell because the upper's so poor quality. They must be fake, but the sole's really good. So it comes down to you always have a good sole. Got a good sole, you, you're you good to go. Um, just bike stuff. Ortley panty bags, they're pretty handy. There's this little meatball. Hey, meatball, have a little sleep. Meatball's a, a stray cat who found herself into the home. We got a dissexed and uh, microchipped. Beautiful little pussy. All right, let's go to the bikes here. We've got the uh, the infamous, had to take off the sticker, the infamous light carbon naive cookie man. <clears throat> this is, I like the saddle design, seat post design. <clears throat> you got room for a little ampule in there. And uh, just look at that, you know, doesn't rattle around, sort of good to go. Bit of a Thailand bike, we've got a Merida, a big 99,000. People say, why do you have so many bikes? It's just, you know, I don't have kids and uh, what else am I going to spend money on? So this is the glycogen pragma over there. I've got to put some new cranks on it. I uh, got to do some testing on, on that bike. Got some geometry things coming through. Still classic geometry. I, I rate it. It's basically based off the Merida Sculptura 9000. I've got these really nice wheels. I've got a few pairs of these. These are the, the RC28s, the Spline, uh, Monchasserale. A little fantastic hub in there. Getting it dusty, but these are fantastic wheels. I don't know, read for a while. Got a couple of spare frames if you might notice in the video. And uh, I'm not sure who put these peasant cranks. Did you put those peasant cranks in this bike? Not me. Well, that's going to be your job tonight before you have dinner. Take these cranks off, please. Uh, we have a, a Madone frame here. Got a couple of Madones. We've got a, an old Radio Shack frame up there as well. And uh, let's, go, let's go bathroom with the kitty litter. And basically, yeah, so basically what I've done here is, yeah, I'm not sure. This is a great spot to have your, have all your forks. We've got the 
some 3T bars, we've got some Trek forks on there. Uh, we've got some AC90 Lapiers, Bianchi. We could try and represent, we try not to discriminate too much. We've got some Trek RSLs in there. We do have a lot of Trek, we've got some big direct, direct mount action going on there. Uh, we have carbon, we have alloy steerers. We have a bit of variety, and this is a great place to sort of hit that little toilet roll. Hang up your forks. Bathroom, um, let's go with the, uh, so there's a shaver up here. Generally shave outside, floss. The usual, which is actually a derailleur up here. This is a, it's an old 600. An old 600, I'll just put that down, I've got a bit of a scratch from, I'm not sure that was from boxing. Maybe a wart got cut off, but uh, yeah, it's basically a, an old Tegra 600 derailleur. If you can uh, sort of see that. There we go. All right, it went dark on me for a bit there. Rollers. I generally shower outside. Uh, unless it's really hot, uh, cold, sorry. And so then basically having the rollers indoors, yeah, you're gonna get sweaty anyway. So you can have your, your back wheel down here, you can put a bit of water on yourself. And it's also good in winter, um, you just cold water replication riding. So you get the, you know, you, this hasn't, I haven't used hot water for years. And the thing is why I put these, people say, why have you got two Cannondale uh, Evo Super 6 frames on your, you know, <laughs> hanging on your showers because if I use the hot water, then that could that heats up and that could melt the carbon. So this is a discipline training where I just don't have, uh, you know, I don't use the hot water. So, boom, use that. And in you know, cold water showers, it's good to go, saves money, things like that. Let's talk about the bathtub here. What's going on here? We've got um, we've got some American Classic wheels. They're not too bad. Well, this is my probably my favourite cranks. The Shram Red, very lightweight. We've got a, an old HTC. This was uh, Mick Rogers' old bike, and uh, got actually got to do a bit, something, a bit of work in the headset there. Got a new, new stem on that S works down here. This, this uh, my Leo by Lear, Heimer's bike. Got that from a, a sale in Sebastopol. We've got a, a, a Yolo rim on there. Uh, we've got some a seat posts and stuff like that. We've got these are actually good wheels. You know, the Spinnages. Got a few sets of those. They're a fantastic wheel, super absorbent, and they go they go really well. That seat, obviously. Gonna go a little bit higher, so 56 centimeter frame. And uh, these, these are good, don't get too bulky resistance bands. We'll go to the kitchen, we'll get the bikes in a second. We've got the bananas here. We've basically got, you know, you can, you can, I'm not even gonna open that, you can still see what's going on there. There's a, a brake cable hanging out. That's just, if I open that, it's just gonna spring out full of fucking SDI. We've got rice cookers on there, electric toothbrush. Uh, we've got saddles up here, more cranks. What sort of cranks are they? Oh, we've got some old. It's all Dura C900, we've got DI2 charges, stuff like that. Um, we've got cranks down here as well, we've got some more Dura C crank SRAM red, red brakes, absolute black, oval rings, we've got a, looks like an XT or XDR cassette, we've got saddles, we've got time, some cell Italia carbon, some of this is stuff given to me or for various videos or whatever that's come into my possession. Um, next one over here. We've got more stuff from Shimano. We've got carbon stems from Giant. We've got, we've got a lot of organized. This is square. It's my favorite lube. It's very good. Good in the bedroom, good in the bathroom, good on your bike. And uh, it goes good. So we've got a lot of big squirts up here. This is basically lifetime supply chains. We've got more saddles. We've got, I've got to clean this place up one day. We've got the rails up top there. Um, what else have we got? We've got a uh, water filter system, just reverse osmosis. Always got to have a clean sink, right? My place is definitely messy, but you've got to have hygiene, you've got to have a clean sink. Rice cooker, that rice cooker has done a lot of use. And uh, water here, so uh, a bit of sports drink over there. Sugar always, no lid, no, no lid on the sugar. This is basically the kitchen drawer here. We've got hologram cranks, we've got tools over here. This is good grease. I like this stuff. And uh, basically, yeah, a bit of more grease. Tape measure, make sure we're not getting too fat. Basically, we've got some, I gave Natasha a drawer. These are actually good, park tools, carbon. If you don't have a carbon steerer cut on you, in your house, what sort of man are you? So, oh, um, these there's cat, there's cats, this place was clean the other day, and the cats are in there, there's tires on there, there's more. What's this one, the SOS Cannondale one. Um, so yeah, headset bearings. We got tie levers. This one of my favourite tie levers. The old Dura Ace. They're really good. Zip make a good tie lever. Pretty shit hub. Good rim. Shit hub, but good good lever. Got tires in here. Got some old Victorias. Just got a lot of stuff in here. 
we got uh this is a drawer here we've got some chamois cream uh we got a lot of got pads and stuff like that we got some prescription vitamins it's probably empty and uh what else have we got what the uh what's the, what's the shift on we've got some just stuff on here just like tidbits and uh more frames up here we got a trek got a cannondale super six got a lapier and uh what else have we got we got uh, bikes here we've got some actually i can't show some prototype shimano cranks durace we got the old defy we've got the bamboo disc bike bananas always gonna have some bananas on hand we got uh this is e-bike I just got back from this from the shop it's been a, been a absent for a few months bars while we're at it so we have bars these are probably my favorite bars the 3t ergo nova bar really nice bar very good and uh so this is the e-bike the bafung it's a giant with the bafung motor on there we've got another giant defy here we've got a davis finney serrata and uh very nice nice bike there it's got the shram what's that on that i forget oh yeah it's e-tap and uh, i've got a, a velo build up there it's gonna get it to my and that's the old classic bamboo shram red 10 speed which is probably my favorite group set shram red 10 speed looking up we have a, a madone 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 rsl madone usa another defy yep we've got the same bike here one two we've got a rosin we can zoom in on that one and that's the Tange Prestige, the Octa, Octagon. Very nice bike, which will be built probably in the next 10 years. And uh, desktop. Who was going to have the desktop? Which I don't step on a pussy. I step on a cat. See about that? <laughs> the little faces. Very, very cute little cats. Look how tame they are. They were so feral. So feral. It's like, get your stinking foot off me before I bite it off. Oh, look at that little face. So, yeah. Anyway, we have desktop situation going on there. We have a few frames. We've got my Fragma Mawson frame. I'm waiting for some disc brakes for that. These are some interesting tyres, the Challenger Rakers. What sort of hubs are we rocking on that bad boy? We've got an Amonda SL and a Damane and a, I think we've got a Lapierre in there as well. We've got the 240 cell lock hubs on those. They go all right. They go all right. We've got helmets here, which is a, this is a great way to do it. Have your helmets all wrapped up on a wall there just easy to easy access bikes this is natasha's bike she likes to ride at the moment just a bit more higher head tube she likes that it's just shram red with some ceramic dt swiss with some envy wheels behind that we've got another s works was that a tarmac it's a tarmac here we go so i'll just walk through the door a bit late and uh brighton brighton 330 I'll probably turn that off. It's a Bright 330, which is a fantastic little unit. It's got a 36-hour battery life. This is one of my favourite saddles, the Specialised Phenom 130mm. Natasha's favourite saddle, Specialised Mimic. Some uh, bags, some bike bag, dude. And uh, exposure light. These are pretty handy. So, yeah, helmets, glasses, generally just clear lens. I think they're real or they might, they might be fake. I'm not sure. I can't remember. And, well, I was almost stepped on a little pussy. This is the e-bike. It's actually been outside. That's why it's a bit dusty. I keep all my stuff inside otherwise. But uh, this is this is the turbo. The turbo has died down. We're not sure what's wrong with it. Specialized Australia, specialized US, or specialized Switzerland. None of us could work out what's wrong with it. The, the battery works. The motor works. But that doesn't turn on. So it's currently a, a, a handy house for a little spider there. And uh, down here we go... For the we've got a bit of cranks going on here, don't get too cranky, Natasha. We've got some cranks down here, we've got some more hologram stuff. Shram Red BB30. Natasha's having a little ice cream there. And we've got some cask stuff, just a few boxes of cask and what is that? There's a pock helmet or something like that up there. And uh, what else? Well, I think that's about it. Let's go to the bedroom. Let's go to the bedroom. And uh, so the shit's got to be ripped before, before this video was made. These are, these are really handy. The Mindfold Mask, I'd definitely rate those. If you're uh, doing right a girlfriend, you get one of these free. Uh, if, you, if you've been with me for six months, you get free one of those. And uh, you know, on the wall here, we've got Evo, Evo, a prototype aero frame, Eddie Merckx Stuttgart, an Avail SL, and another Eddie Merckx. And uh, bikes, what's in this room? We do have a Trek prototype. This is, why is that prototype? It's got a mountain bike crank on it. Uh -huh, it's a mountain bike crank there. 
And uh, this is actually a focus. This is an interesting bike. It's got a bit of a history to it. So this is a, an Zalco, a Zalco Max a 2019 mil ram bike with SRAM Red. And uh, it was basically, look at, look, at that, look at how tall that rider is. That's a huge, massive, that's, Adam Hansen probably crack a bit of a wood on this one. This is a huge uh, stem bar drop there. And that is due to, this guy was the rider, I won't mention his name, but he was a, a, a patient of Dr. Schmidt, who was a mill round team doctor back in the day. And so he basically took some prescribed vitamins and he basically had a massive growth spurt. So that was his seat height. Can you imagine that? That's, you know, so there's a Dr. Schmidt. Dr. Schmidt beneficiary there. Over here, we've got, a, we've got some more bike bag dude stuff. This is bike packing stuff. We've got a helmet up there from BB, Triple B. We've got some Oucher shoes. We've got MacBooks. We've got Absolute Black. This is a bit of bling. But actually, actually, that's jewelry, actually. We've got a phone over here for uh, drug testing. Only they call that phone, so that's got another one down here. So it's all good in the hood. Uh, basically, we've got bikes over here. We do have, we do have an old Cannondale. Uh, it's my, this is my uh, CAD 9. It's a CAD 9. We've got some Raval ceramic bearing wheels on there. And uh, it's a BB30 Evo. It's a spare frame. I've got to build it up at some point. And so basically we have the old, remember the old Epic? We've got the Epics going strong as a coat hanger. I'm not sure what there's heels on the handlebars. Natasha, don't you leave your heels in the handlebars, please, baby. Got some 90 and stuff like that. Come on. I should keep it on there. Make the bike worthwhile. The Anthem is actually a pretty good bike. Got the, uh, well, I forget what chain rings are on that. So XTR. We've got the SRAM XX1 Eagle on there. Some road pedals. And uh, wheels. Let's talk about wheels. While we're at it, another Bandicoot. These are handy at night time because this, these lights don't work. Got to get deep sleep. And uh, wheels. The wheel situation here. This is a really good time. I basically, this is in most houses an unused part of the, the house. Just the, the gap between the bed and the door it's you know it's underutilized so i think it's a fantastic place and you can just sort of if you're drifting off to sleep you can sort of think what wheels i'm going to use next let's have a look here under the thing we've got uh some of my wheels here we've got the alpha rims which is really terrible they can blow hubs uh tires off the rim rather we've got some hubs we've got hope hubs we've got zip uh 404s we've got some giant these wheels are actually pretty good. It's a DT Swiss 240 hub in there. Look at these. Remember these? The Michelin Axial Hall Halloweens. This is from, what, 1998. I got this from when I used to race in Belgium back in 2003. Uh, from, this is from Van Eyck. Van Eyck Bikes. And this is our clearance one. I've never actually used it. Another DT Swiss uh, 240 hub. We have ceramic uh, Fulcrum Racing Zeros. They're pretty good wheels. We've got a little SP dynamo hub in there another dt swiss uh we've got a power tap in there that's the original power tap from 2009 i've got it still works good and we have I think another power tap we've got another hope hub check out this free will probably the best sounding uh one out there it's on a h plus sun rim we've got another power tap in there i think i've got another power tap landing out somewhere maybe we've got two forget but uh there you go so that's zip wheels Envy wheels, bike life with Duran Rider. This is how we roll, and uh, yeah, this is a pretty small little storage place here, but we do what we can do. So hopefully you appreciate that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down, and uh, it's fantastic. So Natasha, what do you think of uh, living in this place? All right, thanks for that. We'll uh, see you next video. Check that box. Uh, I really want to just give a shout out to Tracy. She's got great customer service. You're really down to earth. Uh, and she def definitely took care of a lot of the issues I had being a foreign investor in Los Angeles, California. The, the rules are just crazy. But Tracy just smoothed it all out. So Tracy, you're a fucking champion. I really appreciate all the time. And you know, and I, I called you late at night and I was like, is this how it is? But you're just always there for me, always patient. So boom, hats off. Tracy, thanks a lot. Nick off the driveway a bit. Place is already getting trashed.
So this, as I said before, this is designed by Frank Geary. Uh, if you don't know, he designed the Walt Disney Concert Hall. So I'm a big Disney fan. That's why I love Miley Cyrus. But and Frank Geary, I can't, you know, it's just going to be wicked backdrops here. We're going to have some parties. And if you want to get involved, leave a comment down below. And we've got, we're going to, I've got a, a landscape gardener coming in. He specializes in Mediterranean climates. And he's got a variety of bananas that actually do grow in Los Angeles area. So hopefully we can have these fully sustainable and turn this into like a massive, See, we've got olive trees already. We're gonna do some cold pressed olive oil, uh, things like that. So Mediterranean garden, Mediterranean diet, very good for your health, bananas, Frank Geary, carb parties, Ferraris, Strava. It's fucking all happening, man. LA, LA. Frank Geary's work reminds me of stuff we did in Australia, the Sydney Opera House, being an Aussie, uh, you know, now my house is uh, Honor Award 1990, American Institute of Architects, it's pretty rad. Gone too far, it's time to wipe the fake blood off that platinum plate. When you say you're right, but you know you're wrong, then have you the right? That's the deal. This is the house tour you asked for. It is actually pretty handy uh, for some protection. We'll trade you top. Traders get the ladies. And basically, uh, you know, what's the deal, Harley? You live in a small place, you got pikes everywhere, you know, my wife. I can't even bring my house. I can't even bring my bike in the house. My wife kicks up a fuss. There's nothing more. Actually, there's one thing more women hate. But I won't mention it. The second thing women hate the most is a man who won't make the rules of the house. All right? If your woman makes the rules of the house, you become the beater. All right? You become under the cats. It's the woman, the cats, or the dog, and then you. And that's the kids up there, and then you're last, all right? If you're the man in the house, if you're the provider, you make the fucking rules. Otherwise, she will have a seething contempt for your beta ass. This is the rules. This is the house. There's a the front door. Take it or leave it.